What's up everybody, BC, welcome back to another video. Um, I wanted to do this video, as you see by the title, of like starting over. I'm somebody, again, if you're newer to my channel, I just moved across the country from Los Angeles, California to Miami, Florida. And although I'm not in a position of being brand new as an entrepreneur or business person, from a life standpoint, I'm starting over. So I wanted to do a video for everybody in regards to, from a life standpoint and a business standpoint, what to do if you're forced to start all over or you do something like I just did where you move and you literally have to start all over. So I wrote down you know, four or five basic topics and I can probably do a series on this. I know I say that a lot, but this is one I'll probably end up coming back to because now that I moved, I can check in every week or two and give people updates on what it's like to move, right? Comparing st uh, different states to different states, what it's like from a business standpoint and all that fun stuff, okay? So let's get into it. Number one is this, and this is something that I implemented right away, is you gotta get to work right away. Like you have to immediately start doing what you were doing before, or if you're in the inception period of a new idea, you need to get into action immediately. Whether that's, you know, if you're a realtor like I am, getting out there and number one, getting your license, right? Which I'm about to take my state test. And I just moved here, you know, what, a week and a half ago, right? So I'm barely here and I'm already about to get my license. I want things to move quickly. If you're already licensed before you move, you get to hitting the doors, making calls, talking to people, filling your pipeline and building your business, right? We can't sit back idly and do nothing. You wanna get back, if you had a, an established routine, back where you were before you moved or before you started something new, get back to that immediately just in your new craft, in the new genre that you're in or the new career or field that you're in. You have to translate that over immediately. So for me, it's get an office after I close escrow on my house, right? Get my license, get to work. And I think within 30 to 45 days of being here, I'll pretty much have everything up and running like before. Although I will technically be starting over, right? So if you're in the position where you don't have resources and money and all these things and connections like I have, well, you have to start with the basics. If I was to have done this move years ago when I was first starting my real estate business, I would just have to get to work. I'd have to get, you know, some meager accommodations, right? Where I live, get a basic vehicle, and then get to work, have my license and start pounding the pavement and making calls just like I did back in Southern California. It would be a rinse and repeat process of what I did before. Not trying to cut corners, not trying to do something super duper crazy or oh, I need to do something new. No, you need to stick to the basics and the fundamentals, right? And some of these other points that I'll cover will build on that and feed on it. But we always have to come back to those foundational principles that will always build some momentum for us and take us far. Because just with those, you can get leaps and bounds beyond your competition if you stick to them enough. But with all the social media stuff and the cloud and the glitz and the glamour, people think that it's not about the fundamentals and the basics because those are boring, when in fact, those are significantly more important than anything else, okay? That's number one. Number two is this. You need to make connections right away, slash, talk to everyone, right? I'm in a position now because of what I've done over the last eight years where I could not even have to do that. I could just say, hey, I'm in Miami on Instagram and Facebook, and I could have, you know, 50, 100 people come meet me if I want, right? Now, I'm not doing that here. I've met up with, you know, one, two, three, four people, something like that since I got here because we were already talking on Instagram before. But I'm at the beach talking to people. I'm going to businesses and getting to know the owners already and the management because those are places that I'm going to frequent, and those are people that I want in my database, right? Networking basically being a magnet for the opportunities that I want to attract. When you're somewhere new and you're starting fresh, you have a blank slate, which is incredible. You don't have a reputation yet, nobody knows you. To me, that's exciting. That means you can hit the ground running. Because let's say you were back in your hometown where you lived before and everybody knew you like me as a basketball player. It's kind of hard to change that image from basketball player, star athlete for you know, 20, 30 years to then, hey, I'm a high level business person. You know, I didn't have any trouble necessarily, but it, it took a while for that brand and reputation to kind of flip and for people to take me seriously in that next step of my life. So going somewhere new and starting over, you're starting fresh and you have a blank slate, which is an incredible opportunity if you look at it from this angle. So right out of the gate, when people get to know you, they can know if you're high energy, right? You're fun to be around. You're a hard worker. You're a hustler. And right away, boom, you can rise much faster in regards to reputation and brand through your efforts just by putting out that vibe and putting out that energy. But it's going to require that you interact with life. <clears throat> I'm sorry, interact with life a little bit differently. Gone are the days where we can just sit idly with our back against the wall and expect things to, to happen because good things come to people who wait. 
Drop that bullshit, man. You gotta go out there and get it, dude. You gotta go out there and get it. You gotta grab life by the horns. I, I can just stand there and people will come talk to me, but it's my vibe and how I carry myself. But I'm always going and meeting the people who own these restaurants and bars and lounges. You know, I don't really go to clubs, but even if I do, I wanna meet those people. I wanna mingle, I wanna talk. That's how you get to know people. This is how you start building connections. What do you want? Do you want a portfolio in your database and in your Rolodex or in your phone, right? Wherever you keep your contacts. Do you want powerful individuals who are business owners, movers and shakers? Or do you just want, oh, I'm gonna go on a dating app and just try to get girls. And you're just gonna chase tail the whole time, right? You have to think strategically here. You have to put yourself in these positions, but it's gonna require an outward effort from you. Now, for a lot of people, the whole social aspect is difficult, and this is why I'm stating it here in the beginning is number two, because this is of extreme importance. Getting to work right away and socializing with everyone, and even making it a goal saying, hey, I'm gonna say hi and talk to like two or three people a day. If you do that over 30 days, that's 40 to 60 people. That, that's a lot. The average person shuts the fuck up and doesn't say anything to anyone. Start working on this, point by interacting more with people who are forced to interact with you. Case in point, cashier at a restaurant or at a grocery store. You're gonna be forced to be talking to them, hey, how are you, because of the transaction. We'll start working on your conversational skills there so you can build them. Because when you become a people magnet, every opportunity that you've ever wanted will be granted to you. That I can guarantee you, okay, because I'm living proof of it. Number three, put yourself in the right places, okay? You're, you're doing something new, you move somewhere new like me. Now me. I'm gonna focus more on higher priced luxury homes here, right, in Miami and South Florida. So my thought process is, who do I need to meet? Where do I need to go to get in front of the right people that will give me better access to those crowds? That's where I need to go. And I'm not gonna find that, again, bullshitting on the corner. Hey, I just wanna go shake my ass at the club, right? It, you have to think differently. You have to position yourself, right? I need to go to networking events with realtors, even if it's just in the beginning, to get my name out there. I need to go to places where maybe I have a hobby, maybe I love boating, maybe I love uh, you know, like the car shows like I used to go to back in California. That's where I need to go. That's where I need to show my face and interact with people and talk. That's where opportunity is. But again, you have to put yourself in those right places. You're not gonna do it by just you know, sitting in your apartment or wherever you get, you know, browsing and you know, thumbing through your Instagram and Facebook, right? Like I said, gone are those days. You have to go out and get it. You have to go out and get it. And it's not as difficult as you think. It just requires consistent effort of putting yourself in the right place at the right time. So think, who's my clientele? Who do I need to get in front of that's gonna buy my product or service or who I want around me? And based on that criteria, where do I need to go? And when you figure out where you need to go, you need to put yourself there, okay? Period, point blank. Here's another one. I think this is important. Sacrifice now so you don't have to sacrifice as much later. It may require you not Maybe you love to go out, I use this example all the time, maybe you love to go out and drink and have a good time, right, and party and all that, that's great. But limit it in the beginning here, save that money. Put some of that effort and energy into meeting people and laying that groundwork in the beginning so you can get ahead. Then you can party and bullshit all you want later on. But sacrifice now, like I used to tell people, hit the doors, make the phone calls, build the foundation of your business in the beginning now so you don't have to keep slaving away forever Right? I put my nose to the grindstone for at least three years before I ever let up at all doing just that one thing. And three years isn't that long in the grand scheme of things. Right, I'll be 35 next month. Don't even feel like it at all. But three years is nothing. I've been in this game doing social media now almost 10 years. It doesn't feel like it. So if I said you gotta buckle down for three years, is it really that much? Some of you have been following me for longer than that. And you always tell me, whoa, where does the time go? Right. But sacrifice now, one, two, three, four things, whatever it is. That way you're building for the future. Then you can take that time and that sacrifice that you use and it's almost like you're putting chips in the bank. Then you can cash them in later and say, okay, I'm gonna take some of this time now where I spent 10 hours doing this. I can shave four hours off that and put it somewhere else now and build that second stream of income, right? Or double down on this in your business to help it grow because you're gonna have to spend time elsewhere to scale it, right? But follow me here. This is what I'm talking about. Now, again, I'm gonna make this a series because I don't want these videos to be too long, okay? But here's the last one and then we'll wrap it up, even though I didn't have this one written down. You need to be crystal clear about why you did this and where you wanna be in the next 30, 60, 90, 120, right? Year, half a year, two years. That needs to be crystal clear. 
That way you have a clear target from day one when you, when you step into that new field or you move to that new city and state, whatever it is. That needs to be crystal clear. That way your eye is on the prize 24 seven and that likelihood of you actualizing that skyrockets. That's one thing I can attribute. One of many things that I did to get me to where I'm at today is I obsessed about where I was going, where I wanted to be, and that was of utmost important, importance to me. Hands down, hands down, utmost importance. Everything else was secondary to that. And look, I keep building and creating and doing new things. You can do the same. You hold that same power, but you have to assume that power and actually utilize it. That's the difference. But it requires that level of obsession and focus and clarity that a lot of people fail to use. And it takes effort and it's not glitz and glamour. That's the thing. That stuff is kind of boring, especially in the beginning until things start to click for you. But you got to do it. You do that, man, you'll be off to the races, okay? So I'll end it here. Appreciate all the support. All of you looking for more you know, help from me, support, personal contact, mentorship, coaching, get on my Modern Success Program. I'll put the link in the description. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. I appreciate all the support over the years. I know I've been censored like a motherfucker, but I love everybody who, who still rides with me and sticks with me. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Everything else that I offer or have talked about in the past is in the description below. Make sure if you are newer or you have some, you know, surface level questions, please browse my channel. I have so many videos and I guarantee you at some point I've made a playlist and or a video addressing your question. Okay, so happy hunting and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.